Things have been scary, huh? Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. Knuckle pop I bet and my high dad does. fidelity. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Alright, we got this. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? You're my family now. What do your parents do? I'm gonna pop my, back. my mom is a doctor, oh, and my dad yeah. is an engineer. Those are good jobs. Yeah. What's that your job? Handy. I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like um, social studies? Yeah, teach like that. You didn't answer my question. Nope. All right, a little further. <sighs> Perfect. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Well, see that blood over there? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? This game has a lot yeah, of build-up, just like the show. I was led to believe Look, it was a whole lot of chaos and shenanigans. I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. Yeah. I can relate. You are bleeding. Are you okay? You, I you my are finger. bleeding. Is it bleeding? A little. Drink the blood. It's first I'll aid kit. your bandage. It's right next to you. Or not. Okay, I thought it was a little bit closer. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. I guess now would be a good time to wander around, look at things. Yeah. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Probably. A protector, at least. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Walkie-talkies, okay. Let's heal her up. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Um. Yep. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. We should disinfect it first, right? Go. Cool. First try. <laughs> okay, okay. Back to wandering around. I want to take that picture, actually. Is that me? On the left? I think that's me. Aw, they cared. So wait, my name's Lee Everett? What the... Uh, Find anything? I think the guy hate, hates himself. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' Whoa. store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. Didn't kill the I wife. paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. Yep. <laughs> a good-hearted murderer is pretty handy. Did you tell out there who handy. you were, or that you were tied to this place? I'm pretty sure I did, right? For your sake, I hope the answer is no. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, 
then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. And here I was, I was liking you. Thanks. Don't worry about it. If I trust everyone, nothing bad will ever happen. <laughs> it's flawless. No. What is this, Game of Thrones? No one's gonna betray me. Hoping to survive, but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. Oh, you already have the observation. Be a hero, maybe, or a protector at least. Stop it. Need the remote. Look around. Okay. Do a little dance. Do a little dance. Walk through the blood. Walk through the blood. Let's progress, things. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. Uh, let's open that drawer. Hey, remote. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Boom. Play it. I actually thought that was an air vent at first. That's what I figured. Well, that's kind of a letdown. Dad told me he bought that TV to watch baseball in here, but I caught him watching his stories more than a few times. His stories. What? How's your thing? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. That there was that angry. theme in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. I got your Good. back, Clementine. Have you heard from Glenn? Always not have your while. back. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Okay, so what are our options? Go outside with the one weird guy. Um, yeah, okay, so out to the weird guy. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I'm not good. Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and it's complicated. you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. Your kids either live long enough to turn into Carl or die soon enough to be Sophie. We got we got a family photo, we got a remote. I can't go into the bathroom for whatever reason. Uh newspaper, let's do it. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Need batteries. Feels like years. Batteries might be in the remote. Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? Yo. So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Silly Glenn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk about it. the group to come get you, alright? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. Sounds great. We'll hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Do it. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. I hope you're wearing running shoes. Oh, another energy bar. What? Take it. We could use all the energy we can get. Boop, 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 boop. 
Oh yeah, okay. Back to the the I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. What? I have the remote. Thanks. I appreciate it. God, I'm at, God. Yeah, I there. found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. No. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Huh. Well I can feed or you should I Yes. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't... She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Going to eight. I, the reason I gave that to her is because she's going with me to the shenanigans. So I'd like to keep her alive. Battery. Boom. Right there. Boom. Take it. Hopefully it's the big stumpy one. I don't know what the advantage of having this radio working is, but... This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Just need one more. Are we? I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. Alright. I actually do need one more. Can I go back there? No, I don't want to talk to you guys. Well, maybe there will be batteries somewhere else. Can I go back? I can. That is not helpful at all. Can I take a battery from the ATM? Probably not. Well, let's leave. Let's get out of here. Let's go save Glenn. He will most certainly be dead without us. Hey, Carly. I guess I could have talked to Doug, right? But... That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. Ghouls. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. That's He's pretty cool of him. What? In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. <gasps> she has low standards, guys. <sighs> How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. Okay, well. Well, kind of tempted to go outside, like, figure out the batteries. But I'm not sure. Batteries or just head out now? I better get back to it. Good, yep. not gonna die, right? Thanks, but. He can't. Way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah. I will. Hey, Doug. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yes. Let's have a look around. Okay. Let's do that. Jesus. <laughs> That's not a good call. Maybe there's battery here. I thought there'd be more. Space out here. Oh. Think of it. You wanted to come out here. As far as I can tell, that's all I care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. See any batteries? How the fuck? How the I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out here. Battery? Well, I guess bricks are always helpful. I can't reach that brick. Okay, well, that's cool. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. They weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. My papa and mama. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility. Right. Let's keep talking. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. 
He does tech stuff and it just made sense.